Hey guys, this is Kathy back with another video. I'm going to show you how to quickly make a journal. You want to start with chipboard, which is like cardboard. Some people use cereal boxes, but I just like to buy a pack of 100 chipboards from Amazon. I'll leave the link below. Once you have your chipboard, you need to choose some cardstock or scrapbook paper that you like. I'm going to use this one. And we're going to work on this side. This was $1.99 at um, Hobby Lobby. All right. And you won't, you're going to waste a lot of it because you got to cut it down to the size of the journal you're making. Once you get that, you want to cut your chipboard down to the size that you're making. And I think I'm making this one right here. So I've cut my chipboard. You want three cuts. You want two like this, the size of your journal so i got that one and that one and then you need a spine cut so for the spine you just measure this on your chipboard this the spine and cut it out you want it exactly you don't want it too big because that will mess up your journal it'll give it a crease and you're going to paste it paste it you're going to glue it down just like this with maybe a fourth of an inch between the two so like that and like that all right so i'm going to go glue this down and i'll come right back okay i've glued it down and i've cut off the excess paper now you're just going to fold up all the white parts you're going to fold it up over the chipboard so i'll do that and i'll come back all right i folded everything and now i'm going to just cut off the corners where the two intersect those lines right there you're going to cut that little square off on all four sides all right so i'm going to do that and i'll be right back all right all four sides are cut so now all i have to do is fold them over and glue them all right this is the other side and i'll just fold these and glue them and then i'll be back all right i've done all four corners this is the back my journal and this is where I forget to put my paper on top you need to put a piece of paper on top of that it'll save you a lot of trouble and then we're gonna um, we're gonna fold that so we increase it and then fold that side and crease it and see so we'll have our book all right but I don't want to forget there's our spine when I crease it you'll see it better so let me go ahead and put a piece of um, paper inside of here, and then I'll come back. I found this pretty white paper um, from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $1.99. Yes, it's really nice. And I'm going to use this for the inside of the journal. All right, I'll be back. Okay, this is what we have so far. Got the cover, and then I got the inside paper. It's not perfect. But it'll do. I may have to um, slide it over a little more. It's still wet, and so I slid to the edge. So I'll take care of that, and then I'll um, glue my pages in. Okay, I'm back. I want to show you the glue that I use. I love this glue. It works perfectly for paper crafting, and I think it works on fabric also. But it has a nice little tip where you don't use much. And I did order a refill bottle, which should be coming today. So all I'm going to do, this, the side is already glued, so now I'll put some more glue on there and put some glue in the spine of the book. And I'll let them sit for about um, an hour. I'll come back after I get it in, though. All right. I have the pages in. And they're going to just, I'm going to put a, a heavy something on top of it. After about 10 minutes of having the clips on there, I'll put two more clips on. And then I'll put something like a heavy book on top and let it sit for maybe an hour or two. And then I can start, you know, adding my corners and my embellishments. All right. So that's how you make a book. Um, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. On my last video, using the cutters to cut the pages, someone wrote that they would love to see me demonstrate how to cut. So 
my next video, either today or tomorrow, will be a short or a video showing how I cut the pages using um, my cutters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.